Hello, YouTube. All right, back into Fallout New Vegas we go. And I've discovered that uh, Ranger Radio actually is pretty good on the copyright thing. I don't get anything blocked when I use Ranger Radio. Oh, it was on Ranger Radio. Perfect. You have a real question real quickly. What's up, Miguel? I will... Alright. Quest. That's ring a ding ding. Talk to him. What time is it? Uh, for me, it is currently 8.28 a.m. Alright. I don't think I... What did I need for him? 8.30 a.m. Yes. Uh, yes. In the morning. Okay. Wait, actually, the, what was my... 30,000, not 40,000. And actually, before I do that... But wherever he goes, he commands respect. To Texans, his badge is the symbol of security. Uh, and we need to go down to here. This is Ranger James Pearson. Specifically because talking to a gentleman is it is eleven thirty nine in the night. Oh, so you gotta be eleven thirty at night. Uh, Australia? Because that, that is a significant time difference. Oh, you're in the Philippines. Oh, cool. It's always fascinating me meeting people from so many different cultures. Hey, Major. Back again, I see. I need all right. Come on now, what's the trouble? Carl Carl I about Carl Evans. Oh. Anything I can do to Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. You live quite far from me, but I stay up late night sometimes. Yeah. Dismissed. Okay. Crap. I thought that was going to be. Do, do, do. Do, 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 indeed. Hello. Hi. Uh, you doing all right, man? It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Makes sense. Oh, I guess the confirmed bachelor is only for one time. Ah. Actually, as I recall, there's. I need to head. Oop. I need to go back to Good Springs Cemetery. You figured you were out of the country. Okay, now where is my grave? There it is. Distinctive cigarette butt. Oh. Together, Sheriff Larkin and I went over to Evans' place. There's the room, Ranger Pearson. Okay, Sheriff, let's have a look. Place is just like me and Sam found it. Except the body. Sure. So he was over here. Nobody's touched anything, not even the phone. Been leaving the prints for you. Okay, I'll see what huh. I can pick up. Meantime, we'll, well, what are you looking at? Uh, Brain healing Scarlett, you did mention bullet casings, but are, did you mean the cigarette butts? Because it said distinctive cigarette butts. Maybe. Funny shape. 
I'd like a change from the you actually sleep at 3 a.m. almost in the morning? Yeah, it's fair. No. Okay. Oh, another rad scorpion, huh? Hello, nightmare fuel. Hope you're good. Chances are nobody around here had this piece of mud in your shoes. No way you're saying. Alright, and uh the other thing I needed was in Novak. Sure. Only one thing wrong. What's that? When was the man here? When did And they fucking love me in Novak. Well, I think I need to go to Manny. That's Cliff Frisco. I need to go to Manny's room. Hello. a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers. Pretty well kept rank. Oh, up. Tom Evans likes it that way. Oh, hey, Chris. Wonder why I left that fence door. Chance which message. Manny made the right choice. Putting this up. Weasel Benny's been twitchy since he stole a package from his boss. Oh. Ooh. Okay, got that, got that, got that. Hey there. Hey, Chris. How's it going? You'd be unlikely a man to steal a hog. It's easy for somebody to spot him. So why? Why, why? How are you doing? Uh. Well, if the killer cut across the sty, there's no chance finding those tracks, not in here. Look, I wonder if I could talk to Billy Steve. Small progress, still good progress. Yeah. If you, if you make, you know, progress, it's always, always a good thing. Okay, Hello, let's go to the strip. Nice pony, Billy. Yours? You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Cool. You said escort, like armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Eh. So you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. Hey. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. All right. All right, goodbye. Later. Hi. Well, Ben looks sus. Hi. Sure. Go for it. Bye-bye. Hey King, how's it going? Welcome in. You're new? Yes, totally you are. Alright. Alright, back to the strip we go. Look at my name. Oh, yeah. Uh, I hate to tell you, uh, you didn't switch your name before you switched your uh, profile picture. So, g good try. But if you want, I'll just call, I will call you King. Alright. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs. So get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're going to have to stay outside. No problem. Come back soon now. Okay. I'm just getting that open for myself. Uh... All right, let's go to the tops quick. I I want to fucking bankrupt those bastards. It's hard to sleep in 
this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had the la He's not new. Oh, I know he's not new. Eh, hello, demon. Whichever name you people want to go by, I have no issue just calling them by that name. Aw, just when the standing around was getting a... Hi, who is new? <laughs> I don't know. People like to switch their names around on YouTube a bunch. But whatever they enjoy. I'm not even worried. Oh, oh, I know he did it. He, he did it again, AJ. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Uh... Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? All right, goodbye. Have a good time, baby. A little piece of mud. First, it came from someplace else carried in by the well, murder. Hello. There's someone I specifically want to talk to. Ooh, there he is. Hey there, pal. Welcome to the tops. And what can I do for you today? I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? I've got evidence that Benny tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip from me. Whoa, hey now, kid. That's some kind of serious charge you're dropping. You want to be real careful what you say. Welcome next. in, Demon. I hope you're doing well. Here, take a look at this note I found in Novak. That's pretty shady, yeah. Could be Benny's up to no good. Could be this is somebody else altogether. <laughs> Have fun switching your name. What else you got? <laughs> Miguel, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Found this lighter in Boulder City. He dropped it when he killed his partner. Yeah, that looks like Benny's lighter, all right. Still, not exactly a ton of proof. Got anything else, kid? Huh. Well, uh, yeah, okay, these are Benny's brand, and they ain't too common. You got anything else? Jesus, kid, I think we got a real problem on our hands. Can't believe Benny's a no-good stinking punk trying to play house like that. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key. It's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors. Can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. Okay. Groovy. Here's your stuff back. In case you run into company, you dig. I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Go on, then. Elevators to pass the slot machines on your left. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Swank. Hello, Benny. Except, legitimately, I don't care. Uh, wait, where's the cashier? Bring a ding, indeed. Well. Where the hell's the chip exchange? I'll happily purchase chips, but the fuck are they? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, jeez, I'm fucking blind. Hello. Welcome to the tops. How can I help you? 
Well, if you ask nicely, I'll top you. How many? I mean, sorry, what? I like that profile pic. <laughs> Yep, banned from gambling. Okay, pal, you've had enough. Time for you to leave. All right, I'm going. You're free to enjoy the shows in the bar, but no more games for you at the tops. Thanks for playing. I will ask nicely, Miguel. Change that shit. Do not attempt. Do not attempt to emulate the humble host. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the tops. How can I'd like to turn in my chips? Cap. No, you are not. I am the one and only. I am the original. I am the only. Hey, AJ, welcome back. Well, got that achievement. And now we are sitting on 40,000 caps. There isn't doppelganger over shoes over there. Yes, there is. He is attempting to be a doppelganger. You are, but you are the, but you're the more good looking one. How dare you? You think you can hold a candle to the host? Don't you want my saddle bag, Martin? I have to go to sleep. No, don't reach for it, Martin. Blow your head off. All right. Man starts to go through my saddle bag. All right. Where? You tell me. All right. I actually do want to hit this up. There's something on the base floor of the lucky. Cigarettes wrapped up in a piece of old blanket. Other one. Should have brought something to. Yeah, that's it. Wrapped up. There was something. There's something specifically, like something special to grab down here. Where is it? Welcome back, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, there's a pre-warp book. There's a unique item down here. You're reviewing perspective at the moment? Oh, nice. That's going to be some fun. Oh. Oh, that's just straight up Nuka Cola, Scotch. Come out with your hands in the air, Orwell, hear me? Okay, I'm coming in after you. Where is the thing I specifically want to grab down here? I know on the another floor there's a snow globe but for money. Is that particular thing? Coffee pot? What's the unique item? I'm trying to remember. I know there's one. One unique item is on another floor, and it's a snow globe for 2,000 caps. Oh, this is the VIP lounge. Oh, there it is. The golden gloves. Yeah, 
I was trying to remember. Where to, partner? Uh, penthouse? Penthouse floor. What is Battlecraft? I do not know what you're referring to. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Uh, who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Come on, you played it before? As well. Not that I can think of. What kind of robots are Why, you? I'm a Robco PDQ 88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. All right, goodbye. Yeah, I never... I don't think I've ever played Minecraft on this. I don't think I've ever played Minecraft on this channel. Hello. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Hmm. Never seen anything like of this place. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? Hmm. The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. By the VIP treatment, I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Hmm. Let's get down to business then. The business is this one of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. Okay. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Uh, I accept. You know what? What did you wish to know? What are, yeah, tell me what the factions actually. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? Uh. As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Mm. Once you've delivered the chip, I will pay you the amount agreed upon. I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I'll return when I have. Until then. Okay. Enjoy all the Vegas strip has to Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. Sweet. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Hey. Uh, cocktail lounge. Case warning, because this is where the snow globe is. Where are you? There you are. And Well, hello. 
Uh, what's with the snow globe collection? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Uh, we've got some snow globes. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Hey. Alright, we got rid of those and 4,000 more caps. Oh. Where to, partner? Uh, presidential suite. Hey. Glad to see you. Howdy, Rhodes. Pretty bad. Damn. Got here first. I did. Was patrolling near Landmar when the call came through. Which one was the bandit car? It's a black sedan. And the there's Man something I can do here. You didn't miss anything by not seeing it, Jeeves. Where are the bodies? The doctor had him taken to the hospital basement. I'll about the bank teller? Grab. He's alive, but he's unconscious. Grab the workbench. Deputy sheriffs with him. One of the stick-up men got killed in the crash, you know. Yeah. Been able to find the driver? No, no not yet. Cut down that street and into the hills, eh. according to witnesses. Sheriff has the dogs and posse after him. Who owns the sedan? Where? Oh, yeah, All right. We're checking on it. Let's have a look at it. Okay. There it is. All right. Where is my... A? Hmm. Blood on both sides. Steering wheel, too. Means the driver must have been shot on his head or his hands. Had a gash in his scalp. Yeah. Hit the windshield on this side. Mm. A couple of hairs stuck to the jagged edge. A dark brown. Yeah. The druggist got a good look at oh, it. I need Brock so Flower and Xander for Nothing that. Up, almost got shot. And You're 70 around. signs. Yeah, right oh boy. Mr. Reber. Yeah. A ranger wants to talk to you. Let him through, will you, boys? Yes, sir. You see the man who was driving the sedan? Yeah, yeah, here so we go. Move. Uh, Where to, partner? Excuse me. Sure, uh, uh, casino. What do you look like? Casino floor. Real solid. Boot, jeans, and work shirt. Of course, that could fit a thousand men, but... Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. Gold teeth, huh? Anything else? No, except for a bad cut on his head. Bad enough to need... Yeah. Sure was. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. What's up? It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Okay. I thought so. We better get over to the hospital. I'll call headquarters and have a lab man sent down to go over the car for fingerprints. Not easy to lift him from that car. But pretty smeared with all the blood around. Yeah. And even if you do get him, you still gotta find the man that goes with him. Yeah. Damn. And he looks good to me, too. Why, thank you. Here's a body, gentlemen. Rip the sheet if you want. All right. Anything on him, doctor? Nothing at all. Not even a mark that might have been a file. Go on. All right. Yep. No, that wouldn't help. Roads we can check. Where to, partner? I'll help us find his pal. Out. Back to the residential suite. You can do me a favor, I'm doc. Sweet. Sure. The killer who got away cut himself on this drive. You're making me carry the heavy I'm stuff, aren't you? I like no. to get blood type from it. Can you do it now? Sure. Come upstairs to the lab in 15 minutes. Have it for you, like that. Thanks. That blood type would give you something to go on, Jace. I don't know if we don't need it. I wish there was some word from the sheriff's doctor. If they had an I'm I'm well aware I can't yeah. run. Yeah. We might as well walk over to the sheriff's office. We're, we're fine. The doc. Mm. So we can go through the next room and up the front stairs. Okay. You gonna cook something? Your book is in Chinese. Gotta figure out the lessons by imagination with what you see on the pic. You come to see my boy and my husband. Did you know him? I didn't. Maybe you ought to go home. Why should I go home? There's nobody there now. I wanted his daddy to be the one to send him to school. It was just being registered. Well, if nothing else, I... Well, 
Uh, What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. Uh. Why does everyone always say that? I do. We meet up at Lucky Thirty Eight. Nice. Can I order room service? Deputy reported he's still unconscious. Hey. We can look in the room when we get back to the hospital. At Who's crying? Oh, that uh, was part of the radio play that's uh, playing in. Where to, partner? Uh, casino. Because I want to go grab Boom. I want to go to back to Novak. I want to go talk to Boone. You got it yet, Doc? Uh huh. Just finished. Blood types A B. A B, huh? And this is also my room. No, it's very rare. About one in. Oh, excuse me, Ranger. Go ahead. Hello. That's all my stuff. Oh, that there's Boone. That was the deputy of the bank teller here. Oi, oi. Teller just died. Unconscious all the way. Is it time? Yes, we're in case of death. I'm ready when you are. Uh, did you say anything? Nothing you don't already know, Ranger. The man who shot him had gold uh, teeth. It's fine by me. It was night before the fingerprint crew found anything. I unloaded uh, more charcoal from the uh, water in the feeding and delivery stable on the highway patrol. What is it? Is that I'll make Let's see. There we go. Okay. Four years hunts still on the ground. No family, no known associates, and bleeding penitentiary. That's no help for finding the other one. No, could have known him before he went to prison or after. Anything on the car? Yeah, here. What are you even doing to my companions? I'm sending them to the lucky thirty eight. So they're all together at like the same at the same place. So I can transfer equipment and that kind of thing as needed. That uh, I was just going to grab Boone. Got a plan? Something will keep us busy while we're waiting for a report on that thumbprint. Check every doctor along the way and see if any of them have ditched a headroom for a man with gold teeth. Where to, partner? Uh, presidential suite? I roll her suite. Cause yeah. Now they're both here. Is it time? Up. Then finally, KTXI in San Angelo. It's fine by me. Okay. Give it, give it. Unit 10 to KTXI. Go ahead, KTXI. It's absolutely fine. What's up? Alrighty. See you. Okay. Unit 10, President. All right, already got all that stuff. Miles from Santa Rita with continue investigation. Unit 10, 10 4. What is it? Is it? I drove out there. Yeah, I want I want to bring Veronica along. Where is she? Howdy. Oh, there you are. What's up? Well, let's turn off What scribe assistant do I actually don't know? Where were you yesterday morning at nine o'clock? Oh. Here, I can craft sure work. I can. Where to, partner? Okay, uh, casino. There's one more casino place I need to four. check. I said smile. Say you weren't at Live Oak yesterday morning, huh? You heard me. Those gold teeth say you were. Oh, it's Ranger. I, I, the bank teller's dead, Tromer. So is a five year old. And I need to go to Nipton. I don't know what you're talking about, Ranger. Try remembering, Tromer. You got a cut on your head. 
Take your hat off and let's have a look at that. Sure, I'll take my hat off. Well, you're looking and I believe I see any cuts. Yep. No, somehow. I don't see any cuts. So if the guy you're looking for has a cut on his head, it ain't me. There we go. What is it this time? Greetings, Luis, everybody. From greeting people. Bye. From me, and right now from the man stepping up to our microphone from backstage, the hardworking director of Tales of the Texas Rangers, Kay. Mr. Stacy Keith. Well, we're almost Stacey. ready to continue. Frank, this doesn't seem like work. Now imagine getting paid for this. It seems like fun to be able to get up here and talk about Wheaties. Well, it is fun, you know, and particularly on National Wheaties Week, it certainly is. Thank you for missing you, Vince. we're celebrating just like we hope yep. you are. Nothing dramatic, you know, just Wheaties with milk and food. And I've ban been banned from every fucking casino in terms of gambling. Sure are, Stacey. And thanks for talking for us on National Wheaties Week. Yep. Where to, partner? And then drove back to line. Uh, no presidential suite. Fitted everything else. I roll her suite. The one on the gas cap. I stopped at the hospital and Thomas intended to have his blood type taken. Uh, when the doc gets through, you're making me carry the heavy you stuff, aren't you? you before. My blood Probably. Is so. Come in. You sent for me, Ranger? Yeah, Mr. Raven. Okay. You ever see this man before? He looks like the fella. Why, you hold it, hold it. All right, let's start here. Well, let's get Rivers, everything I can I've seen him prepared up as best I can. The man who climbed out of that wreck. Look, mister, maybe you did see me before. I run a gas station 30 miles down the highway. You might have seen me there, but you didn't see me here yesterday. How about it, Mr. Rivers? Ranger, I'm not sure. After all, the fella that got out of the car had a gun in his hand and blood all over his face. All I remember is them gold teeth. I ain't the only man in the world with gold teeth. Maybe telling the truth, Ranger. You're after a blood type AB. This man's blood is pretty common. Type O, like he said. There we go. Sold a tank cap or like this yesterday morning. Had to pry his old cap off with a chisel. Look. Hey, you can see the mark. The car wasn't hit on this side. Keep talking. Oh, well, guy came in for gas early, 6 a.m. I was just opening up. His tank cap was the kind it locks, and he didn't have the key. He said he lost his key. Even had to jump the switch to get the car started. Mm. Here. See why it's a jumped on this one. I know that. I thought it was stolen. Didn't you think of that when he didn't have the keys? Oh, Ranger, it happens all the time. People are always losing keys. I've done it myself. Well, I should have known there was something fishy about that guy. Why? Well, oh, because he didn't have any money to pay for the gas. Didn't tell You're me making me carry the heavy here. stuff, aren't you? Why'd you let him leave? Not quite. I believe. In the gas cap. Girl came to, uh, Aw, you shouldn't have. It's just Left my taste. Knife and a Thank you. For security. With maybe eight or nine bucks. Did he come back? Safe? What's up? Tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. How can I best use I like your skills? I punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Makes sense. Anything else? Yeah. I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are from novices. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a brotherhood trick or two. Oh. My favorite subject. Nowhere specific. 
I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Can I make it up? I want a dress. A dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, hmm. but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal? You want a nice dress? Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Let's. The first hey. one had nothing for us, but the second one. Yeah, that's if the head won't like that before. Hey. Cowpoke, uh, Joe Foy, fell off his horse. Matter of fact, he was in here this morning okay. about three hours ago to have a dressing change. If you put on a fresh dress, the one of these chains is in that trash container, isn't it, Doc? Why, yeah. Any blood on it? Of course. Scrub his feet. Hasn't healed yet. Can you get that dressing out and check it for blood type? A couple of days for this, Doc. I can wait a few more minutes. <coughs> Here you are, Ranger. See if she likes the chopper. That's it, Chase. Yeah. You know where this Joe Foy works, Doc? Uh, Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Chopper. Come on, Road. Right. Oh, Doc. Boy has a couple of gold teeth, doesn't he? Gold teeth? Why, no, Ranger, he doesn't have gold teeth. I found one man with gold teeth, and he wasn't the right one. Now I had another one to go after, but he didn't have gold teeth. Rhodes and I drove out to the Kinney Ranch. The only one around was an old woman. All right. I know he's the cook here. Mr. Kinney and the men who worked for him are out on the Honda. Where does Foy bunk? Actually, you want to... There in the barn, a small room. You want to show us? Come with me. This is bunk? Oh, yeah. Hey, Chase. <coughs> look. How's it here to the front? Yeah, Buffalo Mesa. It looks just like the one on the sheet. Better have a look through this footlocker. Likely he'd have his gun with him, isn't it, Chase? Just making sure. Hey, what is it? Caught some chew on the back there. Hey, that fits. Fellow at the service station said our man was chewing when he stopped there. Yeah, and I've seen this brand of chew before. If my memory isn't lying, there's something else that fits. You shouldn't tear open this before it's used. I just want to see one of these plugs. Here's the answer, Rhodes. Yeah, the plugs are wrapped in gold foil. Yeah. Hmm. If I tear off a square of the foil and put it over my front teeth like this, I look like Does this I place have a teeth. kitchen. Whatever witness who saw Foy was throwing us off the trail instead of helping. Yeah. I wonder how he thought of it. Probably got the idea on his way to Live Oak. Hmm. He saw Toma at the gas station. Hey. I'm gonna take charcoal What's up, Ben? trailer and ride out to the range. And I'll get a horse from the corral and our thanks, Rhodes. But you better stick here. If Foy spots me coming, he might make a run for the ranch and grab a car or a pickup truck. You stay here and see if he doesn't get to him. Oh, wait. This doesn't matter. And I see the stove in game. What a coincidence. Does YouTube not let you play the music? Man, uh, it, uh, YouTube will play the music, but I'll get hit with a copyright, and depending on the song, it may, uh, get my, uh, stuff blocked in, uh, Russia and Belarus. Rip the struggle is real, brother. It happens. I uh, have some custom radio stations to kind of alleviate that. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, 
down for the river. I got to get him. Come here, son. Come here. Left shoulder looks mighty bad, Ranger. You can't chase him like that. I hit him. Come here, boy. Here, he can move with a bullet in him. So can I. Get up, Any. I'm just getting rid of, like, all the heavyweight stuff I don't really need. Actually, I want to keep the scrap metal because I also need scrap electronics and uh, something else. I wonder how delicious is uh, Brahmin steak? Well, it, it's just cow. Where to, partner? Casino. Casino. But uh, welcome in, Mastermind, by the way. My apologies for not greeting you earlier. Alright, where were we gonna go? Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna go to Helios 1. Where are you? There you are. Just north of Gibson's scrapyard. So you're back now. Let's go. We're being we chilling. Off? Uh, no, not anymore. I, oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, let me help you. Uh, you gotta get this done. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Uh, that chat, I remember there's a place you can get implants at in this game, like, uh, to increase your perk. Uh, your special stats and all that. Where is that? The body of Joseph Foy was definitely if anyone remembers. That of the killer and hit and run driver. A ballistic check showed that his gun was the weapon used in the murder of the bank clerk. Ranger Jace Pearson was taken to the nearest hospital where, after a blood transfusion, he was pronounced out of danger. In front of Freeside? Oh. Okay. Oh, if that's the case, uh, cause uh, is it by gun runners? Are you with us out there? I know it's outside of New Vegas. Well, it's National Wheaties Week, you know. And here's our star, Mr. Joel McRae, following up another great I haven't played this game nor interested on the series of Mana, so I don't know. Okay. I'm enjoying being Okay, we we will start from uh free sides east gate or I think it was for some reason That's I keep thinking it was near gun runners. Will you do that? I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Oh. Who's in charge of the gun runners? Here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. All right. Later. Yes, there's a whole Okay, by every wheaty flake. And you know the value of whole wheat. Necessary vitamins, minerals too, and whole wheat energy worth talking about. Yeah, it's by here. I just don't remember where. With milk and the fruit you like. Or like was it actually in Freeside? Come and see how Wheaties at 7 can help at 11. Come on, it's National Wheaties Week. Come on, everybody, to the Weedy party. Eat a lot of Weedy's like a tent, you see. Dance together cheek to cheek. Opposite it's side of Gunrunners? Eat a lot of Weedy's like a tent, you see. Oh, okay, if Gunrunners are here, like, over by the North Gate, is what you mean? Next week, Joel McRae and another offensive... Or do you mean, like, the to the left of the Gunrunners? Keep walking in, eventually you should find a building. Okay. 
Eh, nothing wrong with a little bit of exploration. Maybe some stupid fiends will uh, get our, uh, will come to play the fuck around find out game. There's a caravan. Oh. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? In case you're wondering why I'm going in here. Aha! Ringo. Hi. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Uh, all right. I'll see you around. Five fifty does it. To the left, but yeah. Time to explore because I don't remember either. Yeah, I just know there's a, a doctor's office around the outside that you can, you know, get implants at. But fuck me if I remember the, you know, absolute details of it. Nope. Now oh, the bunch of kings. You can shut up. Tonight transcribed from Hollywood, another authentic reenactment of a Is it in the Freeside? Tales of the Texas Rangers starring Joel McRae as Ranger Chase Pearson. North Vegas Square. Gonna be AWOL for a while, but I'll think through the tender. All right, be safe, AJ. Okay, where are you? Junk door to North Vegas Square. Hanging by a thread. Bear back feeling stereotypically like a cool meaning going for some donuts. Oh, have fun. North Vegas. In the morning of May 5th, 1947, the telephone rang oh. in the sheriff's office in the little town. Right. Oh, that's uh Sheriff's Office Hanson Street. Hi. Can I help you with something, stranger? Tell me about North Vegas. We've been here for a few years, just looking for a place we can call our own. Life's harsh, but still, it beats the hell out of the desert. We've got numbers, we've got food, and we've got trade. That's progress, stranger. What is there to do Keep here? Your nose to the ground, stranger. That's what. Mind your own business and let us mind our own. Are we clear? If you've got a mind to loot the old H and H tools factory. Don't even bother. That place is sealed tighter than a really? scorpion's bunghole. Every salvager who tries gets blown up, flattened, or gutted by traps. Then he starts to stink up the town. And we're the ones to So clean you're up telling the me land. there's somewhere to loot. Bye. The sheriff raced out to the hall branch and found the all of them. dead, hanging in the barn. Then he made another discovery which prompted him to put in a call to the Texas Rangers. Ranger Jace Pearson was assigned to the hmm. police and drove to the Hawks Ranch to meet Sheriff Hanson. Well, I was going to go find the implants, but... Hey, am I glad to see you. Howdy, Sheriff. It's been a long time. Yeah, month of Sundays. Well, I hope I didn't call you down here for nothing, Jace, but this looks mighty... H&H Tools Factory? So I want you to take a look at the... H&H Tools Factory. Put in a call to the coroner, but he was out somewhere. I left a message for him to come out here as soon as they could locate him. How'd you find out about the body, Sheriff? I got a phone call, Jace, about what the nine heck? fifteen. Said it was George Hawks and he was going to kill himself. I thought maybe it was some joker, so I traced the call and it came from. I tried looking car. it up, but the only hint it gave me was that I could, but George was it dead. by the Crimson Caravan no Company. Oh, no pulse. oh, that's good. Body still that. Warm. Literally gives me something to work off of. Okay. I appreciate you trying to look it up, Mastermind. This is just the way he was when I found him. You notice that's a wire he's hanging from, not a rope. Yeah. Cut off the clothesline type. Huh? How do you know? Guess. I saw the clothesline had been cut, part of it dragging on the ground in the yard. <laughs> 
You rangers don't miss much, do you? Not if we can help it, Sheriff. Well, I want to show you something. There we go. Look at this. Right under the body. Mm, an oil drum. Right. And the exact position I found it in. On its side. Mm. Now you'll notice, Jace, that it's the only thing near enough that George could have stood on while he put things. the wire around you may want it. Over here. The hell? God damn. Oh, nice. And I think How you come, Jason? I found a couple of things, but not the thing I want. What's that? Oh yeah, she's rocking the chopper. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Okay, that's why Okay, so it's irradiated water. What is it, Jason? Hang on. That. It's a piece of black thread. Black wool. Well, uh, you will string saver, Jace? In a case like this, yes. Take a look outside. What about a motive, Sheriff? For suicide or murder? Either. Yeah. Can't think of a one off hand. George was a pretty normal guy, happily married. Didn't have any enemies. Okay. How about those two hands you mentioned? Well, this new one, Brad Johnson, been working for George about six months. Only met him a couple of times. Seemed to be all right. Peace. In a quiet sort of way. And the other? <laughs> Old Tom, well, he's okay. Drinks a lot. George used to fire him regular and then take him back when he sobered up. And there's no good footprints in the yard here. Nope. Ground's packed pretty hard. Now the sheriff, hmm? the car coming up the house. Is that the corner? Is that? How may I serve you, Master? Oh, no, that was well. like... Well, sure, that's George Hawk's car. That's Millie driving. This is... Okay. Tough. Come on. We'll have to tell our sheriff. This is the only part of the job I really hate. Oh, I know you, Jace. Cindy, Lou can no longer save you. Good morning, Mrs. Hawks. This is Ranger Pierce. I don't know. Mm. What's happened? What's the matter? I'm sorry to have to take oh. Millie, but George is... Something happened to George? Yes. Ah. He's dead. Oh, no. Anthony House's terminal. Oh! <laughs> we'll Alright, let's see what the hell this is. We'll start with committee. Okay, committee is five out of nine are correct. Convinced? Well, yes, there was a big fight at breakfast. I've never seen George get tonight. Fight between you and your husband? Converted. Oh, all this went on. Old Tom and Brad was there too. They're the hard hands. How did it start? I cooked breakfast for the four of us, like I always do. 
Ah, here we go. Okay, so converted is seven out of nine. Convicti convicted. There it is. What kind of accusations, Mrs. Hawk? Lies, Ranger. All of them lies. He said he wouldn't have been drunk if Brad hadn't bought liquor for him. Brad? Well, that's what he claimed. He said Brad got him drunk on the Executive override. Oh, it, it was quite. So he said what? Well, it's a lie, Ranger. What did he say, Mrs. Hawk? Well, old Tom said to Brad, I wouldn't be drunk if you didn't buy any of the stuff. You're always trying to get me out of the way so I won't see you. Hmm. So How may I serve you, master? Boss's wife. Then what happened? Oh. Oh, no. My husband started swearing and threatening Brad, telling him what Tom said. Brad said it was lying, and George threw some money in his face and told him to get off the place. There we go. He went outside, and a few minutes later, I hated him. God damn it. Ow. So I grabbed a crack and ran. Did he ask you where you were going? Yes, he did, Ranger. I told him I was going into town to see Mr. Harris, the lawyer. See about getting a divorce. What time did you leave? About eight days. Ranger, you said you found him hanging in the barn. And uh, if it was suicide, why are you asking me all these questions? The fuck? No more hair, guys. No more trim. Oh, wow. This ain't creepy as fuck. I'm just looking. You often draw a blank when you've been drinking? Do, do I what, Ranger? Have a blank space. Do things you don't remember anything about later. Oh, nice. Wait a minute. I didn't do it. I couldn't have killed George. He was my friend. Is your wire cutters on the table, Tom? Oh, yeah, they are. I'll take them. There we go. Really, I can't. I don't get to loot them at all. Texas Rangers, starring Joel McRae as Ranger Jace Pearson, and 
our new Sunday time. We hope that our many friends who have listened yeah. to us at the earlier hour will continue to be with us each Sunday. And for those of you who are hearing our program for the first time, we extend a warm and cordial welcome and invite you to be with us each Sunday from now on. And now we continue with tonight's case hanging by a thread, an authentic story from the files of the Texas Rangers. One bottle cap. Fucking hell. Finger was pointing straight at Tom. When he got back to the Hawks Ranch, there was a man in the back lot feeding the hogs. It was Brad Johnson, the third witness in the breakfast fight. While the sheriff took Tom into town, I got Brad's version of what happened. Yeah, Mother. Threw the money in my face, Ranger. Thirty dollars. Told me I was fired. I want to hit him, but I didn't. Then what, Brad? Then I got my duffel bag, filled my car, and drove off. Where'd you go? To Finney. Mm. Drove around town for a few minutes, and then I went to the White Spot Cafe and had a cup of coffee. What time was this? When I was in the cafe? Oh, about 9.30, I guess. Why'd you come back here? Well, somebody in town said that George had killed himself and that the coroner was on his way out here. So? Mm. Well, I figured if it was true, there wouldn't be anybody to do the chores. He fired old Tom, too. And Mrs. Hall told me to treat him as so friendly. Well, so I've come out to do what I could. Yeah, very nice. Damn. It's Tell me, Brad, is there anything between you and Mrs. Hall? No, sir. That's a lie, Ray. Never even mm -hmm. spoke nope. to each other at meal times. Looted it as much as I could. To do now? Well, I don't know. Have Mrs. Hey. Hall so she can get somebody, I reckon. All right. Let's see. Well, I gotta be more Let's head over to the Crimson oh, uh, Caravan. Don't leave town without letting me know. Oh, I, I won't, Ranger. I'll be around. Hmm. Got the evidence off to Austin and then went to the White Spot Cafe. Brad had been seen there at 9.30, and Mrs. Hawks had been with her lawyer half an hour before. Where is... I'm curious about how much the implants are. Oh, New Vegas Medical Clinic. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants oh. available to enhance your physical attributes. Uh. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild oh. regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Ooh, want to buy an implant? One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Uh, that's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. Give it. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Anything more Evening. I can do, Sheriff? Uh, no, not right now. Well, I'll go get me some breakfast. Hey. No mark You're back. All right. You're healthy enough to handle mm. I can implant the hypertrophy accelerator for 4000 caps. It will boost your adrenal glands and quickly in it's a cap. Have a seat in the auto dock. This at strength. Uh and probably in What is it? That'd make it about 8.30 when George died. What time did you 
You're back. All right. All right. Increase my endurance. The nociception. Have a seat. Sure, said he was George. Could it have been somebody else? Yeah, I suppose so. Beginning to piece together, Sheriff. Whoever it was could have killed George, then called you and tried to tell me. You're back. All right. Subdermal. That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps. But the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. Here's the Have caps. a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Hey. How am I doing on caps? Still got 16 grand. There's another. You're back. <laughs> yeah, I have a chatter who likes to just be kind of silly. I'm afraid you can't have. You need a higher endurance. I have. Show me what you have for sale. Some fresh bail just inside bomb there, hip sir. Thanks. Be glad to pay for it. No, no, forget it. I'm sure. Give me all of them. Oh, uh. Have you got something to open one with? Why, sure. Here. Here's my cutter. Man. Take care. Cuts on a wire okay, good. Okay, after all that, how am I looking? I just basically got chromed the fuck up. I got the results. Here it is, Jace. Take a look. Wires mass, Johnny. See for yourself. That dual microscope never lied to me yet. The left one's the murder wire. You are on the right is one of the samples. Carlos, quit being a dick. You look at those striations. It's a perfect match. Thanks, Johnny. Take care of this stuff. Got to get back to Finney pronto. Oh, will you do me a favor? Sure, Jace. Call the sheriff at Finney. Tell him I'm on my way and I got something Okay. Hot. I'll be there in two hours. Okay. Search. R is... Well, Jace, you sure made good time. What'd you find out? <laughs> we got positive proof the murder wire was cut with Brad Johnson's cutters. Brad's? You gonna pick them up? Not right yet, Sheriff. Why not? We only know that Brad's cutters were used. We don't know he used them. We got to be sure. What are your plans, Jace? I've been thinking. Those stories that Mrs. Hawks okay. told me. They were alike, all right. Let's go over to Gun Runners. We've still got a decent amount of caps. The exact phrases, hmm? Welcome, sir, or... Uh... I am ready to process our transaction. Alright, what do you got? Yeah, he could have. Well, Still got 14,000 we caps. Catch him alone. Brad and Mrs. Hawks. When they don't know anybody's around. Oh, geez, yeah. Say to each other. Maybe after the funeral. It's this afternoon, 4 o'clock. You know where it's being held, Sheriff? Sure, out of the ranch. Be a graveside ceremony. Where's the cemetery? Clear over on the other side of town from the Hawks' place. Yeah, it's taking a while to get over there and back. Sheriff, while they're at the cemetery... You and I are going to the ranch and fix up a little surprise. Yeah. Man, I know I'll be all right for that one. I mean, the wind is blowing. Welcome. Like the phone. Okay. Jace, wouldn't one do? Not if they wander around the house while they're talking, Sheriff. What the? I want to hear everything. And how you know that Brad and Mrs. Hawks will talk? How do you know they'll even come into the house? I don't know. Veronica, what the fuck are you doing? My guess is that after the funeral's over, somebody's gonna let his hair down. Hey, it's almost five, Jay. So be coming back soon. Welcome back. Alright, we're going back. We're going to Helios 1. Nothing! Wasn't even trying to clap her cheeks. Yet. This is a restricted area. State your business. Last time I went, I asked for the guest list. NCR, I'm with the, anything I can do to help? Your being here is a start, soldier. We aren't exactly overflowing with troopers here. But if you really want to help us, talk to the idiot with sunglasses in the back of the plant building. He's been trying to get this place running for months and hasn't made any forward progress. I don't know. Mastermind, I don't know. Miguel likes to be stupid. Later. Well, not be stupid, but do silly things and act stupid. Well, if Veronica asks nicely, uh, I'll, I'll give her a good clap. I don't know. Thank you for 
tuning in to 8-Bit Hits. I am Fist, you your super mutant host. I got a block of songs that are sure to make you shit yourself. <laughs> Literally. First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance. Why Satan was talking? Uh, the imposter is revealed. Why is he telling? Why do you keep switching your goddamn name and profile picture? You were. Yes, I know you were, and I was stopping you from doing it. Because the only one who can truly troll is me. I'm just grooving to the 8-bit. Oh, hello, fantastic. So nice to see you. What? Are you all right? I didn't go in the wrong hole, did I? I mean, what? Hi. 